So another Saturday, beautiful sunshine. What more could you ask for? Oh, I know, my Lucy. Where's Lucy? Hi. There she is. Lucy, you're back. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah. And Ted as well, barking away. Are we gonna have some fun today? Yes. We certainly are. I'm Sam. I'm Lucy. And, and together, together we, we are Geekably. Literally, I've not even turned on my machine yet, and the gills are off, and they've already found a nice signal. <sighs> oh, it's really nice. It's a really nice signal, and it's 23, 24, it went up to 25, and then back to 22. We've done down here. No, but we have had some moo tubes. Down uh, this is this was the moo tube area, which is why I think we left it last time. Go on then. Dig it up. Lucy's found one. It's your first one for a couple of weeks. I don't think you've been out for about two weeks, have you? You see your ballet and stuff. Ballet and then isolation. By ballet, then then ten days isolation. And now I'm out. And yesterday was your last day of isolation. Well, Thursday was your last day of isolation. So. And now, and now Griff's in his isolation days, so he's not here. Okay, that's not annoying at all. Okay. <laughs> Is it hard ground? No, not too bad. It's just hard ground. Yeah, you've been good. Oh, it's nice to have Lucy back, isn't it? Yay! We've got us. We're not even got to. We're not even got to the tree where we're going to put us food yet, because that's our food bag. Oh, Lucy's made some fab sandwiches. I can't wait. Ham or cheese? Ham or cheese. And it's got lettuce, yeah. sweet corn. You're doing well with that plug, Lucy. I'm well chuffed with that. Yeah. What, what have we got for sandwiches? Um, ham and ham cheese. And cheese. Mm. Um, with some lettuce, sweet corn and carrots. Anything in the hole? Good girl. Anything in the hole? Well done, Lula Belle. What numbers did you get, girls? It was 25, it went up 26. 24. Ooh. Um, and then it went down Still to in the 22. 26. 29. 20, ooh. 25. Ooh. All right, Lulabelle. <laughs> well, this is where we found a Mew tube, so don't get too excited. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh, I haven't got my knee pad either. Well, I can use that. Right. Oh, Lucy. Right. Be steady. Don't put your fingers in the hole because you've got no gloves on, Lucy. Oh, no, my gloves are in the back, but I'll get them in a minute. Yeah, this is first hole dig. You're a bit excited, aren't you? Oh, it's there! <gasps> it's there! Oh my god, it's curled! It's curled! Oh my gosh. <gasps> Where is it? It's there! Oh, my Oh my god! <laughs> Lucy, that's your first hole wall! Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I just flicked it out! It's, that's a love token. It is, isn't it? Jealous oh at God. all. Right, okay. You found that all Right, go on then. Pick it up. Okay. Uh, oh my God. Clean goodness. it off. It is, isn't it? It's, it is, isn't it? I don't, yeah, well, it looks like a love token. It actually looks in better nick than what I got. These fields look after these oh coins. Oh my gosh. They're not even grey, look. Oh, that sniffy nose. That's a, is that a sixpence? It's too big, I think. Mine was a sixpence. That's a shilling. Is it a shilling? What is this? Doesn't that say? 
No, no it's William. Say? It says William the Third. It's a William the Third love token. <laughs> oh, have you clunked it with your spade though? No, 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 she's not. No, she didn't. She oh my it. God! Look how clean that is. Look at, it. Look at the detail, Lucy. First ever hole. Woohoo! 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 Oh my God! That is beautiful. Okay. William the Third silver shilling love token, and it's absolutely exquisite. So it probably comes as no surprise that this week's Digging Deeper is, of course, love tokens. So despite there being a lot of detail on our particular coin that we found, we can't actually see the date. But obviously we knew that William III reigned from 1694 to 1702, and thereafter Queen Anne took the throne. So somewhere between those dates. Interestingly, this particular love token is one of three silver items that we found in this field. Griffines has also found a, Gre a Queen Anne um, cufflinks and we've also found another William III sixpence love token. So absolutely incredible to think all of this is happening in this one particular field. It is believed that love tokens originated in Britain as early as the 13th century with the practice of bending coins. So in dealing with their favourite saint in return for a favour, a coin was bent and a pledge was made. The bent coin was then a token of their pledge and became a physical reminder of their obligation. For years and years, the British had a long tradition of taking a coin out of circulation and keeping it as a good luck charm. However, to prevent it from being accidentally spent, various techniques were used to mark the coin. The practice of engraving coins took hold during the late 1600s with coins being sanded and embellished by experienced artisans as well as individual amateurs to mark births, deaths, marriages and anniversaries. One early technique to mark the coin was pin punching, a technique which involved pounding a series of dots using a pointed metal instrument to make an impression. As these tokens were growing in popularity, people soon began to recognise them as love tokens, mostly due to the engraved messages, designs and love signs, such as hearts and love knots, embellished with special initials. British love tokens also appeared as a crooked coin, where typically a young man would have smoothed down the surface of the coin, almost obliterating the monarch's head before bending the coin out of shape, traditionally into an S shape, before giving it to his lady love. If she kept the coin, it was a sign of her affection. If she threw it away, perhaps into a field, it was a sign of rejection. Many of these crooked coins have been found on farmlands and seem particularly common where fairs were held. In the past, fairs or similar types of events uh, where large numbers of people actually got together uh, but perhaps the only chance in the country where young people actually got to meet. Now the custom of giving crooked coins was at its height during the reign of William III and many examples of love tokens of this period have been found on fair sites. The vast majority of love tokens seems to have been made from silver. However, in the latter half of the 18th century, copper pennies and half pennies became fashionable as love tokens. The surface of these coins were again smoothed down so that all traces of the monarch's hat and Britannia were removed. The coin was then engraved with various symbols of love. And during the Victoria era, these tokens were tangible emotions that you could carry anywhere with you um, and would actually wear them as pieces of jewellery. By the end of the 19th century, such items had completely gone out. Of Here we are in the field, but where's Lucy? I'm all by myself. Lucy! Here I am. <laughs> there you are. Have you been playing in that field? I'm Have you? Brilliant. Got a signal. Do you want to come? Oh! <laughs> Got a 21 on the Knox. I've just dug it. Do you want to point it for me? Yeah. Well, I pointed it, but if you get your pinpointer, I think I know where it is, but I need someone with expert finding skills like you did before. Okay. It's boiling, isn't it? Right, there you go, Munchkin. I think it's down here. It's on, yeah. It's down this bit, I think, more now. Dig it. 
Oh dear. Poetry. Right, just move out of the way. Uh oh. No, that's it. Don't need to do that bit. Okay, right. right. Stop, stop. Go in this bit here. There it is. Oh, it's a coin. Is it? Yep, it's a coin. Yeah. There. Is it? Mm hmm. Coin. <gasps> it is, you clever coin. girl. Coin! Right then, Lucy. Glove off now. I've missed having your fantastic eyes on these. Well done. I can see some writing. Okay, that's a good start. Can you only see the date? Do you think it's a half penny? It's George. George. So George. Yep. George. George. I think it says George. Yep. George. We do get a lot of Georges in here, don't we? Oh. It's G E O R G E, -E -I yeah. I V S. It's a very clear penny again. Yep. Yeah. Well, not a penny necessarily. Brilliant. Got a coin. Let's see if I can try and find the date. Yeah. Probably on this side, but this side's worse. Don't worry. Oh, okay, I can. This side's not as good. But why? I don't want you. <laughs> I can't see a date, but that's probably because I, look how clear that is. There. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Let's zoom in on that. I can see the head as well. So the head is all the way down there, mm -hmm. all the way around there, and then that's the bottom of the head mm -hmm. there. Lovely. I just can't see a date. Don't worry. We'll clean it up, shall we? Yeah. And then show everybody. So, we're doing good today. Having fun? Mm hmm Oh. Have you? I've got a coin. Yay, Daddy's got, got one. Let's scoot across to Daddy. Oh, don't look at me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, well done. Right, let's go and see what else we can find then, shall we, Lucy? Yeah. Yay. Welcome to making a burrow with Lucy. Are you? Is that where there's loads of rabbits around here? There is. When it was snowing. We, oh, gosh, yeah. Like when it was snowing, we yeah. saw the footprints. We could, couldn't we? Loads of. Oh, 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 oh. I flicked it out. Is that Tombak button? No, it's a coin thing. No, it's not. Oh, is it Tombak? Ooh, look at that imprint. Oh. Henry Griff would be absolutely impressed by that. Look at that. That's yeah. nice, isn't it? Oh, gosh, I'm not even zooming in on it. Isn't that rubbish? Yeah. Anything on the inside? Don't know, but they look like a pair of nipples. No. Sorry? No. <laughs> X rated. Put it next to it. Look, look, look like boobies. Mom. Look at the pair of nipples. <laughs> they do look like boobies. Yeah, it's a kids show, don't you know? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've lowered the tone. Well done, Lucy. She's you know looking. If I said that, I'd get told off. She's looking at me in disgust, aren't you? Love token. You got not very deep. This isn't. Deep. Could what be is a that? could be a modern coin. Yeah, or a bit of aluminium. I've had at this before. Yeah. There we oh. go. I have to see what it is. Yeah. It looks like a belt buckle. Oh, it does, but I'm not quite sure whether it's. It Watch is. it, might be a razor blade. Oh, no, it's a buckle. No, it's a buckle, isn't it, I think? Is it a buckle? Is it a buckle? Oh, actually, that looks like a door. Oh, actually, thing, no. Yeah. I think you're right. I think it's some kind of hinge type. Let's have a look. It looks like a hinge. It's a bit hingy. Um, I'm not sure, actually. No, it's a. Is it a buckle? Oh, it might be a folded over buckle. Oh, right. I'm not sure. There we go, look. I think you've got... I'm both of my eyes. Oh, munchkin. It'll be a bit of mud, oh. won't it? It's a bit of crying. I don't know what that is. You have to clean it up and have a look when you get home. It's, uh, it's modern, though. Whatever it is. It might be a clasp. Look. That might be a clasp yeah. into the buckle. That might be the clasp. I don't know sure. Clean it up when you get home. Have a look. Oh, well, something different. Yeah, it's different. Nice 20 on the knocks. Oh, there we go. Okay, that was such a great day and it's so lovely to have Lucy back as well. Um, but I do need some of her luck. She's gone over there to find, um, to, to pick up her, a signal with her dad and uh, they've just got another coin. I've got another coin as well, but mine isn't quite so exciting as that. Have a look. And there we go. It's a modern half penny. It's properly, properly toasty woasty. If you can just make it out on there. Well, coin nonetheless. 
Miss Permission just keeps giving. There's so much in here. Even when we've been over the same ground again and again, we just keep finding different signals and it's just so ace. Right, off for lunch. We're gonna <laughs> stop laughing at us, Dad. <laughs> Okay, so we just stop for lunch, we're going to have a little thing to, dr to eat and drink, mm -hmm. and then we'll be off again. Yeah, we will. This is amazing. Look at my salad sandwich. Ham. It's beautiful, Lucy. Really nice pack up. Really enjoying it. We've got some crispies. Bit of chocolate, of course. Spicy got crisps. Spicy crisp. A bit of chocolate. A drink. And then we're going to head over, aren't we? I think we're going to Batfield, aren't we? Now, a bit late. <laughs> that way. You're dropping all your lettuce. <laughs> well, I love that piece Lucy, as well. Dancing down the field. Dancing, dancing. Should we walk? La 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 la. Try la 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 la. <laughs> so we've got one in the hole. Eighteen, nineteen on the knocks. Yeah. Thinking coinage, but I'm not quite sure. Eighty-one on mine. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just give that a poop? No, it's not that. Thank goodness. I thought then for a second. Oh, it's a piece of lead. Doing? Just... I don't know. It's that. It's his lead. Don't. Oh, let's have a look. Yeah. Whip it's it out of there. you go. Make sure there's nothing else. Nice whole bit of lead lot. Oh, it's got markings on it. Is it? Yeah. It's in like a teardrop shape. Oh, can you hear my knee crunch? It's in like a teardrop shape. It's got markings on it. Oh, that's, that's pretty. Nice. It is. Yeah, I'll clean it off and show you in a bit, but that's, that's quite nice. It's quite nice, I don't know what that is. Nice. I'll have a bit of that. Here we go. No, a nicely decorated piece of lead. Okay, Lucy. Shall we look what we've got? Yep. So it's in here. Coin. Took a bit of digging. Can you just see it? Just there, look. Yep. Let's get it out. I've not got it out yet. Ooh. Oh gosh, it's very, very toasted. You might not be able to see what's... Can I have a look? Do you want to have a look? Very toasted. Pretty clean then. Can you see anything on it at all? No. Let's have a look. See if we can just wipe it off here. Oh, fly. Fly, fly, fly. Go fly, away, fly. I don't want you. Shoo off! No, it's gonna bite me. It's with you now. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, that is toasted. Ew. Well, I can't see a thing on that at all. So we'll take it back. Oh, there's a bit of a marking around there. It's just rust. Do you think so? Not mm. sure. Daddy's good at kind of looking at them and finding out, isn't he? So there we go. Take them back. It's really thin. Right, so the bleeps has got one. She thinks it's a bit of a horse tack. Oh, dear, it's just here, look. Oh, do you know I've sat here now? I could just sit oh, here. Oh, it's it's a little bit of it's a little horse rain look. It is, oh. isn't it? Oh, it is, look. It's thin, that is. It is, isn't it? Is it that then, or is it something else? No, I don't think it's that. It's old there. That is. Look at. Got the patina on that, it's lovely, mm. that is. Oh, I could just sit here, all I have to do is now. <laughs> Not getting warm. Yeah, it's lovely. Just you got a bit of horse tack, Lula Bell. Lovely stuff, right, on to the next one. Excitement here because we've got a 93 on the not uh, on the uh, on the dais and a 28 29 yeah. on the Knox. On the Knox, and I'm using your spade because Jackson. You know, is down there with another signal where Lucy is, so she's waiting for me. <laughs> and I'm here to use your. You know what? I know this is meant to be an absolutely awesome spade, and it's people out there going to go, oh, honestly. You just love your Jackson, don't you? Damn, what are you talking about? But I love my spade, my Jackson. So, where is it then? Move your spade out of the way. Right. Okay, let me just do this first. So, do we think it's in the hole? Oh, it's in the plug. Oh, it's so wappy. You're right next oh. to a spade though, so. Hmm. Huge signal this is. 
it's quite shallow, which is yeah. never a good signal. See, I've had them like this before, and then they've been like big um, piece of aluminium. Aluminium, yeah. Go on then. Okay, let's. Uh, let's disappoint us then. Let's have a look. Let's not disappoint today, eh? Oh, it is. Good man, we're about to say something naughty then. <laughs> Go on then, take it out. You know what that is, don't you? Is it, is it a lid? That's not a cartwheel, Penny! You thought it was cartwheel? It's a... It's a lid of some, some description for a chemist's... It's not the car project type Hedge, stuff. Hedges Chemists. Oh, right. Poops. Oh, this... Hmm? I don't know. Anyway, we'll clean it up, we'll show you in a bit, but... This was the fake cartwheel <laughs> bugger. Okay, folks, so these are all our wonderful finds. We had a great time, didn't we, Lucy, doing all of this? Yeah. We really enjoyed it. So over this side is the usual trashy stuff. So we've got this uh, really, really funny snuff tin lid. Um, uh, it's made by Hedges in Birmingham. Um, we thought it was some kind of fantastic coin, but it, it wasn't. It turned out to be this, but apparently you can still buy it. Um, some of the pieces of lead here. We thought that was going to be quite interesting in this teardrop shape with some interesting markings on it, but it's not really of anything of uh, significance at all. But moving on to this side, this is really cool stuff over here. Yeah. So, so, Lucy? We have a buckle. Yep. And a William III love a love token love token that's right and you had great fun finding that didn't you mm -hmm. absolutely amazing the detail on it is fantastic and obviously we heard all about that earlier um and then down here we've got a, a modern one penny piece and i think i said in the video it was a half pence but it's not it's a penny um some horse harness ring um oh yeah this is great it's massive so a big large uh tombat button just there uh, and then we've got two coins over here um, one is a George V uh, half penny um, and then the other one is, a, is another George but we're not sure whether it's a George II or George III but we think because it is very very thin uh, we think it's a late George II so um, that is all our wonderful finds. So that's it from us, folks, for this time. But before we go, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to all our supporters, all our subscribers, because we've just found out we've hit the 200 subscriber mark. Yay! And we're absolutely over the moon. Lucy's really excited because it means we're having some donuts. Whoop, whoop. Anyway, that's it from us. So thank you very much. This is Geek of Bleeps. Over and out. out.